Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Unreal, and some big, big news has just dropped. Black Ops 3 has been confirmed. Anyway, if you guys haven't seen the, basically the first reveal trailer, um, your favorite YouTubers are probably uploaded them right now. Uh, I saw it from Fear Crads and I think T. Martin and Drifter. Uh, they uploaded this uh, this one minute clip, and basically it's um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but it's like you can tell it's got that Black Ops eerie uh, feel to it because it's like the thing you would see for the campaign. Uh, but the thing that gives it away at the very end is I mean it's got the Black Ops three symbol. It's got the three, you know, the three ones. It starts out as a one and it splits to three. So, I mean, and it's got the orange lettering, or the orange texture to it. It's Black Ops 3. Don't try to tell me it's World at War. Don't try to tell me it's Modern Warfare 4. It's Black Ops 3. Let's just, let's just be honest, it is Black Ops 3. And I, I stopped getting hyped for Call of Duty. The last Call of Duty game I got hyped was for Black Ops 2. And rightfully so, because now I'm really hyped for Black Ops 3. Because uh, I feel like it's really going to be a good game. Um, you know, if, if you've been following the Snapchat, um, pictures they've been sending, or the Snapchat stories, it looks like it's going to be set back in World War times, which is what I love. That's my favorite setting for Call of Duty. That's why Black Ops 1 is so good. That's why Modern Warfare 2 is so good. That's why Black Ops, well, I wouldn't say Black Ops 2. But yeah, <laughs> that's why I like COD 4, you know, Modern Warfare 2, um, Black Ops 1, like, that's why they're so good. That's what got me into Call of Duty, because it was a, a war game. And I love history, and it, it, it was just good. And so, you know, and they started progressing towards the more futuristic side, you know, Black Ops 2. Even though Black Ops 2 was set futuristic, it wasn't too futuristic to not like the game. It was only about, what, 15 years ahead of the future? <clears throat> Excuse me. Ghost was completely set in the future, and Advanced Warfare is like, far, far out in the future, and so they're going back to, uh, you know, World War times, Vietnam, maybe, and um, it makes me so excited because I feel like killstreaks are going to be really good, you know, they're going to be chopper gunners, and, and AC-130s, and Pavlos, and I love stuff like that, um, I feel like the weapons are going to be old-timey weapons, like um, M16, and AK-74, and AK-47, so this is Black Ops 3, I have a feeling a lot of awesome uh, guns, not from Black Ops 2, but I really feel like Black Ops 1 guns are going to be back in Black Ops 3. The Commando, the MP5, um, that's really the only ones I really liked. <laughs> so, I mean, the AK is always in the game, but um, maybe the FAMAS, but I am hyped. I just want to let you guys know, if you didn't know, you know, go look at it. Uh, Call of Duty Back in Black. Now, that's another reason why it's going to be Black Ops 3. They have a hashtag going out that says Back in Black. Like, what more do you kids want? Like, I was... Excuse me. Shouldn't have drank coffee. But I was sitting on the Google Plus forum, or a community forum page for Google Plus for Call of Duty, and all these kids were like, Nah, man, it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. And I just wanted to... Just punch them, like... Treyarch doesn't do Modern Warfare games. Anyway, uh, short little vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Back in black, baby. I'm very excited. Haven't been excited for a Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, so I'm pumped. Hope you guys are pumped. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Comment. Let me know what you thought. And yeah, until next time. Peace.